All right, welcome to another TRT Q&A with me, Paolo Bracado, and today we have actually quite an interesting question. So let's get right to it. Uh, it's also a private message, so we won't be revealing his name, but he says, Paolo, thank you for your videos. They are always with important info delivered with a good vibe. Thank you. I do try. <laughs> uh, I will make the question in a short way and in an extensive way in case you need the details to answer it properly. So the short version of the question. I've been doing TRT for 10 months. My question is how is this supposed to continue? Changing combinations like it was up to this point, following one of these com combinations forever checking periodically, like every three months, how my numbers are going and going to the different protocol or what? Long version. Okay, so basically he did give the long version and he detailed his case. And basically I think what his story is, is he's been on TRT, like he says, uh, for a, a 10 months. And it seems like he's doing constant micromanagement of his protocol and his treatment. In other words, every couple of months he has to do tests, he has to do adjustments, he has to change his treatment. And so he wants to know if this is kind of how it's going to go for the rest of his treatment, you know, I, I imagine for the rest of his life. So this is actually a question I wanted to answer because I have my personal opinions on the matter, which I'd like to share. And uh, they may not be what a lot of the people in the industry uh, would recommend themselves. So I thought I'd offer my opinion and you guys can compare it to other things that you hear going around. So basically, when it comes to TRT, as far as I've seen, there's two ways that you can approach it, right? You can go the simple approach or the more managed or advanced approach. Now the simple approach, I like to call it the KISS approach or keep it simple stupid, which is my personal favorite. And the advanced one is kind of more the uh, micromanaged one, which you use for optimizing your hormones almost, you know, to the T. Now, I'm gonna go through each scenario and explain why I prefer mine and why other people may prefer the other one and hopefully this gives you guys the insight that you need. So with this simple approach, my personal favorite, like I said, um, there's not much to it, right? For me, it's about setting and forgetting. In other words, you get your TRT protocol, you know, your testosterone replacement therapy, you get it, you get your treatment and your medication, you take it whenever you need to take it and you never worry about it again, right? And ideally what it's gonna do is it's gonna solve all your symptoms of low testosterone, it's gonna make you feel good, and in general, you're just gonna feel great without any sort of side effects or, or symptoms of low testosterone. Perfect, right? So you don't have to stress about it, you don't have to worry about it, you take your shots whenever you need to, and then you just continue with life, right? Now the more advanced approach, which requires a lot more sort of effort and follow-ups and adjustments, this is what I like to call the optimized or advanced approach, right? And this, this is kind of the same as normal, simple TRT approach, but then you have all the extra things on top. So normally with testosterone replacement therapy, it's usually sort of just one drug that you're gonna be taking to replace your testosterone, you know, it's testosterone. But with the more advanced optimized approaches, you, a lot of the time you've got all these other drugs that they toss in like HCG or an aromatase inhibitor and that kind of stuff. And then as you start adding all of these medications into your protocol, you have to start monitoring all the other sort of side effects and levels of your hormones to see you know how they've been affected and whether they've affected them in a positive or negative way whether they've gotten too high or some other hormone has gotten too low as a response and then you kind of have to micromanage that right so obviously that requires a lot more work it requires a lot more attention it requires a lot more time and probably a lot more money too now this guy i think was in his 50s okay so I'm, I'm only 37, you've got people in your 40s, 50s and 60s that are on testosterone replacement therapy too. And I think that what works for me may not work for everyone, right? For me, it's very simple. I have testosterone replacement therapy just with testosterone. I take it twice a week. Uh, I don't do anything else besides that and it solves all my problems, right? And I don't have any side effects. So there's really no reason for me to do anything more with it. However, maybe as you get older and maybe for me too, my situation and my opinion is gonna change in future as I age. So maybe as you get older, you do require these extra adjustments, this extra micromanage, this optimization, you know, for your hormones. I, I think a lot of guys do it because they have the opportunity to, they don't necessarily have to, and um, maybe they do it just because they want to squeeze every little bit out of their treatment, which is fine, right? But if, if you're a guy like this and it looks like it's slightly annoying having to sort of monitor everything every two or three months, make adjustments the whole time, then maybe you should ask your doctor or whoever's treating you if there isn't a simpler approach, right? What you need to do 
is you need to base your treatment on your symptoms, right? If you have symptoms and you get prescribed the treatment, do your symptoms go away, right? If they do, great. Now, do you have any th sort of other side effects? No? Perfect, right? Then there's no need to do anything else as far as I'm concerned. Then the final approach, which what a lot of people do, is, is they look at their blood work. Now, if there's nothing too serious going on in blood work, everything looks reasonably normal, then don't worry about it. Then the simple approach is prob probably best for you. But now, if maybe you're older and you do experience side effects or you do start noticing fluctuations in your blood work that maybe aren't in the normal ranges and look slightly worrying, then maybe unfortunately you have to go through this process, right? Obviously, I think a lot of people don't want to, but if you don't have a choice, then what, what else can you do? You know, you're gonna have to do it. Now, again, I think if you're in a situation and this is what your doctor is recommending, have a chat with him. Ask him, is this essential or is this just because we're trying to squeeze everything that we can out of my treatment, even though it may not all be necessary? And then I guess take the decision from there based on what works for you. So if you want something more simpler and you can get away with something more simpler, then do it. But if you can't and a doctor says, no, we have to do this, if, you know, if we leave things the way they are, it's going to be detrimental to your health, then you, I don't think you really have a choice. So. Yeah, it's really up to you and your goals at the end of the day, especially again, the more optimized routes is what a lot of guys, especially the older guys, uh, go through. And again, I, I, you know, when I, when I talk about these sort of older guys and the optimized appro approach, I'm thinking of guys in our industry like Jay, even Mike from Balance My Hormones. I know he does a, you know, a few, a couple of hormones, not just testosterone. And so maybe those are the type of people that we need to chat to for a better answer to your question. I don't know who you're going through, but chat to your doctor anyway. I'll try to talk to Mike from Balance More Hormones in a, another interview that we do in the future to see what his thoughts on this are, but I just wanted to offer my thoughts today and why I prefer the simple approach. It's not to say that I'm not gonna change my protocol in a couple of years time as I age and maybe my hormones you know, aren't as simple to manage as they are now. So. I hope you found that insight helpful. Uh, I just wanted to offer my two cents. Uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, and if any of you guys have questions uh, along these lines where I may be able to help with a bit of my experience uh, in the situation, then be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll try to answer it. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye.